Ah, uh, yo. It's good YouTube. This part two, how to get your own offsets. But part two, the road left thing, G. I'm gonna show you how to get your own offsets. So you don't have to rely on people. So like, let's get let's get started though. Let's get started. All right, look. You got you got first of all you got to understand the art of cheating, the art of like, the art of memory. You get me? Attach to the studio. Scan for the float. L22, right? So we know we're inside the humanoid and we know how to park the humanoid, right? So, scan for 24 now. <coughs> Why is it showing me 23? Oh, what am I even doing? First scan. 32 now. Okay, look. So we have to check out what axis. We did this in part one, right? But let me explain the art of memory though. Alright, let me explain to you this. So what's a what would be accessing TS address, bro? See this, right? We can see here, so we know that this is our like, uh, humanoid, yeah? But like, obviously, alright, so how would you get health if you're making an external? Do humanoid plus the health officer, right? So we can see here, RCX, we know it's humanoid, right? You can see we're adding 0x19c to our CX, so it's humanoid plus 19c, which we know, so now we just know that 19c is our health officer. So, health plus 19c. It's that simple, it's that simple. Ah, uh, but this is what else you could do. So, let's go into TS Memory Browser. <coughs> That's like the thing. See, our TTR is telling us exactly what it is. It's that simple. And now we know we know that parent is 50. So all we have to do, look, all we have to do, we're here. Uh, we're here. We got to go. Phew, 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 phew. I don't know why it's not showing the data model, but bro, we literally just climbed the parent tree. And look, we ended up at the data model. Find this shit. We have data model, right? What other offsets can we find? You get me? Oh, the Discord is my Wi Fi is off for some reason. Alright. Well, what else can we find? Um, okay, let's see. Let's say we want to find. Found, you know. Ah, the side the aim offsets, yeah? So we'll go, we have data model, we'll go to the children, which is 80, dereference TS, yes. and then we can see all our services, you get me, all our children of data model, all of this stuff. Um, so let's say we have like a slide aim or some offsets updated, find the mouse service, look in here, we see our input object, so service address plus direct one one eight equals input object right alright let's let's say like okay so here's pretty obvious like hold on look. Look. you see the TS changing so we know it's our vector two here right what what if instead we wanted to um like let's we didn't know what it was, it was like a zero one value. If we take this, close or minimize this. Or actually go back. Add the uh, Yeah, actually yeah. Uh, add this to your address list. Where's the First, yes, memory region. Okay. We can see things are changing, but so we know. We're, um, what's changing? What's active? You see that that's active. You see over there. So go to address. Grab that. Back up the calc, calc short for calculator, whack in the hex, 
Take away the input object. Um, that don't look right. Oh, that's quite not right. Um, what is this relative to the input object? Wait. Hold on. Okay, that's not the address we're looking for. Oh, it's yes address, trying to piss me off. Is it this? <sighs> no, this is just saying thingy. Okay, well I guess we can't use the memory viewer. Let's go back here. <coughs> I can see memories moving. Okay, this looks relevant, see? Yeah, 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 that's that thing. F8. This shouldn't be a byte then. Change this type to a float. Well, there you go. See, zero. Okay, that means F4 is our vector 2 location. Input object plus zero F4 equals mouse position. Get me. Hold on, swap the chain. Um. Yeah, let's see. If we go here, we can see F. So okay, so it's F four and F eight, and since floats are obviously four bytes, then it makes sense. You get me? Why did the tune just stop, bro? Oh, my Wi-Fi keeps turning off. Sake. All right. Um. Yeah, but that's pretty much how you get that. So then you can do your shit. You sign your name. What are, what are the offsets that people even look for? Like, but anyways, everything you can do, everything you want to do is here, bro. You have the data model, you can do anything you want. Like, look, you have your players here, even. Um, right, wait. Jeez. Got the children. Look at that. Instance of player. What's inside TS player? Let's see. Beer values. Look, that's my name right there. So now we know. Display name equals your x one one eight. It's that easy. You just need to know where to look at that. All these values are probably relevant as well. But who knows? Yeah. What else have we got around there? Look at that, pointer to model instance. Model instance character equals direct to e8. But I'm telling you, it's that easy to just get new offsets. And open the model instance. I mean, children. We have our parts, right? Parts. So this will be your, if we go to name, wait, wait, that's the name, left lower arm, so that's the left lower arm in that, yeah, baby. and then like if we go here, jeez, my wife phone was up turning off, here, mesh part, go to the name, shrink, right upper leg, it's that easy, okay, mesh part, um, what else can we look for? I don't know what that is, don't know what that is. Uh, okay, look, primitive. So now we know primitive equals x170. You get me. What else have we got here? Okay, let's look up Roblox material. Okay, I guess. 
guess we're not looking at anything. <sighs> Give me a second, I don't even know how my wife is doing. But let's say we wanted to get the. Ooh, we're back. Material. Okay. So we know plastic is 256, so we'll just look for 256 in here, I guess. 256. Okay, we're in the primitive. But just, just to be safe, back out your calc. Whack in 256 decimal, maybe it might be 100. Because, you know, hexadecimal and them way there. Mm. Oh, where did I try? Yup, I know I did. Okay. So that's there. Let's double check though. Actually, what, what part are we looking at? Let's find out. Name is 78. Okay, I guess not. Next part. Alright, oh, name not 78. Okay. Okay, we're looking at the lower torso. See, that's what I mean about cheating. They're being weird sometimes. Okay. Lower torso, right? That thing. If we change it to force field, so now it's like force field, right? Let's check where the rest is. Where's primitive gone? Motor 6D joint, if you want. Um, block mesh part. Wait, let's see what. Four cylinders. Low control left. 1584. Okay, boom, there you go. And there you go. So that's how you just update the offsets again. What else can we look for? Um, okay, let's look. Okay, well, there's going to be loads of stuff here. So just like part rotations and stuff. What's this? These look interesting. But yeah, so let's say from my pre, let's say you have updated offsets, you should update them. They'll be relatively close to memory, so you'll be able to find them. Yeah, man. Dot com. It's weird. But yeah, you just, uh, go to children, search, so. And what's this? It's useful as well. I know it's being kind of useless there, but. Found offsets. I think my other video finds some stuff with that. But yeah, it's simple as you get me. Pretty yeah, oh, fuck it, whatever. That's the end of the video. I hope you learned something though. Subscribe, like the video. Yeah, peace.